Hey guys, we're down here with the Liquid Force team and today we're with legendary shaper Jimmy Redman and we are gonna talk about the space pod and the pod. Cool. Today we had a great session on the water. You got to ride a lot of new Absolutely boards and you know these boards and wanted to talk about the difference. You know, main thing about these two shapes is how they're built. This is built in our Dura shell, Dura Surf construction, which is a vacuum form shell with a stringerless EPS core. Strength comes in the glass wrap around the rails. And then the space pod is a traditional surfboard construction, EPS core, but it's hand shaped, hand finished, glassed, and you've got you know technical fabrics laid in. This has a nice carbon stringer to add a little extra stiffness and a little extra you know snapback on a thinner shape. What I like to do is like we can, we'll prototype boards and we'll test everything's handmade to start, and then we'll first release boards as custom shapes and then see how people like them. If something becomes really popular, then we'll offer a price point version of it yeah. in this molded technology. Like with Tommy Shashane, we worked on the TC skim, got it to a point where we wanted to add it, add twin fins on it, puff it up a little, make a hybrid board. That's where the Primo came from. The pod actually started off in this construction. So I took all the things that worked on the, po on the pod in that standard surfboard construction made it in the molded EPS vacuum form core. Still super lightweight. Even at 4.9, this board's only six pounds. But durable. Super durable. Super durable. I mean, yeah. and then you've got, you've got all the great features. You've still got great fiberglass fins. You've got a quad fin setup, so you can ride it as a twin or a quad. And then I wanted to take the things about the pod and do an upgraded version. That's where the space pod came from. So it's about, in the tail right around the fins it's about a quarter of an inch wider and then as you come back here to the tail it's a little over a half an inch wider so we've got a fuller tail in order for it to not be too you know too thick and chunky in the tail put this split tail in it still gives you plenty of lift we're able to exaggerate the single to double concave and keep the rails really crisp a variable edge rail where it gets progressively sharper as you come through the fins and out the tail and softens up through the nose. Kind of like what you see in your traditional ocean surfboard, where it's totally. a little bit easier for like more of a bottom turn transition, but still have the hard rail to really dig in and get some spray and some yeah. significant turns and power into your turns. Completely. The thing is, what um, biggest difference between say the rail that'd be on an ocean surfboard and a wake surf rail is on an ocean surfboard, they'll soften the rail sooner mm -hmm. and, and it'll be even softer going up through the nose. Whereas on a wake surfboard, since the rocker's so flat and you're not doing a roundhouse cutbacks, maybe you are. <laughs> but you know, to, in order to have it be catch free but still give you that forward projection, mm -hmm. the rail stays crisper longer. Really keeps a crisp edge almost up to the middle of the board. Yeah. And that just, that just helps with the forward push and glide yeah just help keeps you in front of the wake so that we're not falling out the back or anything like that yeah and you know like when we were doing when we were making the boards like they here are the prototypes of the space pod and this is one that was a little too extreme I actually came back and you'll see this is a super sharp rail oh, almost all the way, all the way yeah. up the nose so that's landing like it right made it too here. it made it too catchy so we softened it a little and here's a version where you can feel it, it's crisp, oh, yeah. it's crisp past the middle, but it does start to soften up. And of course, in the protos, I like testing a lot of different fin configurations, so that's why these had five boxes. But nobody really liked that it didn't make sense with, as a tri-fin, and also having a fin box with a flange kind of flattened it out here, and we mm -hmm. wanted to really pronounce the double Remember concave. Is on there? Exactly. Yeah. So by getting rid of it, keeps the board a little lighter and gives keeps the double concave yeah. crisp. And I really love the fact that you can ride this as a twin fin and kind of have your foot a little farther back and still get that loose feel where the tailor is going to sli slide out a little bit easier. But if you really like, if you're a heavy footed surfer and you really like traction, putting power into your turns, you can put those snub fits in here and it holds great into your bottom turns and you can still have enough release once you find that point to kind of get the tail to let loose. Yeah, but you still have a lot of power against it. Cor correct, they're super small fins. I mean, they're only two, two inches high, yeah. you know, and fairly shallow base. So it does give you drive and projection. But when you pop them out, you can really loosen up the board. Yeah. And it it's just like makes a four inch fin that's going to hold traction. Yeah, and we, we do this with a, a carbon fiberglass fin on both models. And there's three sizes there's a 3.7, a 4.0, and a 4.4. Yeah. I think you guys did a really great job with this series here. I mean, you have the guys who have 
a little bit more advanced type style riding, a little bit more aggressive, wants that feel underneath their feet to where it can just snap up to the top real fast in the ultra light performance space here. And then you also have that guy who wants to still kind of have that same surf feel, but not really all that reactiveness, wants to kind of learn the board underneath his feet and kind of progress his skills, maybe get some turns underneath and then progress into the airs. You really get that with a nice durable board that's gonna last you multiple seasons. You oh, don't have yeah. to worry about it at all. This this thing is incredibly durable, but you really don't sacrifice a whole lot of performance. Not at all. Because the stringerless core keeps it really light and yeah. lively. If anything, it's a little bit heavier, but you don't you don't feel that really when you're riding. No, no, no. It's it's really happy with how the pod turned out and the new space pod, you know, just a crisper, faster, cleaner version of it with a little fuller tail. Yeah, definitely. Well definitely one of my favorite shapes here. You'll find it on our boat and make sure you get yours at wakemakers.com. All right.